kicks it in high gear, will break the rules, pick up the intensity. He's going up against Hack Myers here. And it, you know why they call him Hack? No, why? If he cuts his own hair. Nevertheless, I, I think Malenko is the type of athlete who needs a belt to survive. I think he's more dangerous without a belt. You because do. whoever has the belt know he knows that this man, Malenko, wants it and can get it. He's capable of winning every time he gets in that ring. And I don't care if the man's the size of, uh, let's say, Hulk Hogan. This man can beat you. This man knows wrestling. And that's the name of the game. I don't care how tough you are, how much you can punch and kick. You don't know what, you do, what to do on that mat and what to do when someone does something to you. It's over. Reeling is Hack Myers down on the floor trying to buy some time against the man of a thousand holds or the Iceman, if you will. Malenko. Myers blocked it. There goes Malenko head first to the top turnbuckle. Speaking of biding time. Oh! With that haircut, it looks like, like he could be going to the chair. Pick up Malenko. Puts him down. And covers one. Now that's something all the young wrestlers out there should look at right now. All the, the rookies in this sport, the people that want to be in this sport. Malenko did exactly what you should do. When a man's down, he covered him. He went for the pin. No. Big Larry and left-handed that time by Heck Myers. Got a two count. Is Heck's dad Oscar? Uh, no, he's not, Brain. Shut up! Just asking. Just asking. Don't pick Malenko up, pal. Keep him down. That's a good, that's good. Uh... But you know, Malenko's just as dangerous on the mat as he is standing there. Good suggestion Ooh. there, Brain, because uh, Malenko, oh. once he gets up to that, what we say is a vertical base, that's when he's most dangerous. Is his father a tough man? Oh, boy. The great Professor Boris Malenko. Mm. Is he tough? Uppercut, I watched him managing the Mongols back on Worldwide Wrestling, the same program, back in 1975. How about that? So all through the 70s, all you kind of did was a couch potato. You watched TV all day. Well, no, I did more than that. You sat on the porch and yeah, listen. Watch, watch the bug machine go on and off. Yeah, I no. saw you in that commercial. Listen to Major League Baseball games on the radio at night. Forearm shot at the face. Where were you raised, San Quentin? Would you stop it? Hack Myers coming out with a rake to the ears that time. And now Myers will try to send. Boy, I tell you, the Iceman is so quick. He's up on top and he cross body. Got him, I think. His head hit the back of the mat. Two count only that time. Myers was able to kick out. The match continues here. Oh, and right in. Boy, that caught him flush in the nose. And Hack Meyer, Hack Meyer's making a pretty good showing here, Brain. Walks away from him, see? You should have covered him. Elbow drop is on target. Now he covers him. Ooh, and that Malenko, was close. Malenko got the feet going. It's, as you know, fans, your legs are much stronger than your arms. Therefore, you can get the feet going and break out easily if you are coherent. Oh! And there's a fisherman suplex. One, two. A fisherman suplex. Yes. When's the last time you suplexed the trout? Well, actually, I... Would you stop? Into the ropes. Malenko with a, a drop kick on the knee of Hack Myers. Tony, we're going to Texas. Texas Cloverleaf time. Puts him in it. Tries to get him over. Myers fighting out of it. And now... Oh, look at that. Look at that, Tony. Into an STF. Right, he was going to the Texas Cloverleaf. Myers' legs were a little stronger than he anticipated. He lost his balance, recovered, and still beat the man with the SFT. That shows you how dangerous this man is. Dean Malenko, I wouldn't want to fight him. A very, very dangerous man. And a man without a title, and that may not last for long. Right now on the road with 1-800-COLLECT, here's Mike Tanay.